these days we need to respect and put some effort into acknowledging the fact that the lands that we live on and the environment that we live in is quite fragile. So anything you can do to basically study that and enjoy it is a plus. I see something, something that I think other people should see and try and interpret that so that they can get a sense of what I'm trying to capture. What's there today that might not be there tomorrow. It's a record for the future. It's a record of the fleeting moment of today. My history in Halliburton started a few years back. We vacationed up in the area. We decided we want a more regular vacation, bought a cottage, and like so many other cottagers, fell in, you know, even more and more in love with the place and moved here permanently. The community of artists around Halliburton is phenomenal. There's studio tours, there's open studios all the time. There's more inspiration than you could ever want. I could paint in my own backyard and find inspiration, or I could go two minutes down the road or 20 minutes down the road. There's always something that's inspiring that's uh, truly what I call an Ontario landscape, where there's always some rocks, trees, water, and a vista. And uh, that combination makes a great formula for landscape painting. Plein air painting is properly en plein air, which is in the open air. And it's the extreme sport of painting, where you actually load your gear in the car, you drive somewhere, you stand on the side of a river or a sunset, and you capture what you see as you see it. I painted seriously for the last 10 years. Before that, it was maybe once a year, maybe uh, every few years, but you know, there was a long gap. Halliburton County has a great collection of easily accessible waterfalls, and certainly seasonally, they all change. So even if you had to paint the same waterfalls or rapids, it would still be a never-ending supply of beautiful inspirations. Whenever you pull up at the edge of moving water, usually you can hear it before you can see it. And that just draws you in like a magnet to that environment. It becomes a special place. And while you're painting, you know, it, it drowns out all the background noise. There's something spiritual about the sound and the feeling of the water moving. It's really easy to ignore the world. And those two hours of ignoring the world are pretty priceless. There's all kinds of studies that have proven, you know, a walk in the woods improves your health. And whether you go and sit on a stump in the forest and just enjoy the sounds and the view, you can feel like you're part of nature by doing it. For some reason, whether we're taught or whether it's our society that says, if I do something that doesn't have a dollar value or isn't something that someone else wants to covet in some way, shape or form, whether they're buying it or whether they just love it, it's not really worthy. But two hours of painting, if you enjoy that two hours of painting, I don't care whether you throw that painting out at the end of two hours, you had two hours of enjoyment. You can actually change your life and how you look at things by spending a couple hours, you know, every week or every couple weeks or even every month with a paintbrush in your hands because everything you look at from that point on will be different. My recent goal 
in life has been to encourage more people to pick up a paintbrush and encourage them to do it without any preconceived constraints on it that I'm not good enough and I won't be able to sell my art or nobody will want to look at it. It is extremely important that if you want to sing, sing. I don't care if you get a recording contract or not. If you want to paint, paint. It will expand your life. And I found to the point now that I've started referring to my paintbrush as a key or a compass because it opened doors to things that I never thought I would have done. It points me in directions where I never thought I would have ever traveled. And it's made my life richer because of it. And there's no reason why somebody else picking up a paintbrush can't enjoy the same journey.